You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for Black and White Sports. My goodness. Now, I don't know if AEW is going woke, all elite wrestling, but they're certainly showing some tendencies. And they have an openly transgender wrestler named Nyla Rose on their roster. And the other night, she got offended by a sign that a fan was holding up that was, look, you go to, you go to wrestling events, as long as I can remember, whether it was AEW, WWF, slash WWE, NWA, WCW, World Class, World Class back in the day, ECW, look, heckling signs have been part of the culture for as long as I can remember. Uh, it spe- it specifically rose to prominence in the 90s, okay? As Nitro and Raw blew up, and then, of course, ECW came along with their show. Uh, fans bring signs, and they say all kinds of things. Things related to wrestlers all the way over to... Things that have nothing to do with anything else. Dot com names. You know, trying to get promotion out. And generally speaking, I've never really heard of a fan getting ejected for over a sign. But transgender wrestler Nyla Rose decided that I guess she was offended. So she decided to have this fan kicked out. And the fan, if I'm being real here, and I'm just going to be real, and this is... I researched this pretty good before I decided to make the video because I wanted to know who I was talking about here. Um, Technically speaking, what the fan said in the sign, from what I can see, technically could be true. All right? I know it isn't. We know it isn't. But at the end of the day, it's just a joke. It's strictly a joke. But it was considered transphobic, and the fan got ejected out of an AEW event. Uh, I find it ridiculous. Personally speaking, I find it utterly ridiculous. Uh, But, okay. This is the uh, New York Post. A fan was ejected from from AEW Dynamite Wednesday after hosting a sign making fun of openly transgender wrestler Nyla Rose. A spectator near the ring at Greensboro Coliseum held up a sign that said, quote, Nyla Rose is that guy's dad with an arrow pointing to his left. There's the guy right there. Hell, this guy's wearing a mask. There's Nyla Rose, I guess, getting triggered. Rose was competing in a match against Ruby Soho. She spotted the fan and flipped him off. Now, guys, keep in mind, we're talking about a man in the ring here. A biological man in the ring wrestling women. Okay, now... I'm not going to lose my mind over that because we've seen mixed wrestling events for years and years, okay? And generally speaking, we know that wrestling is scripted. And um, look, I love wrestling, but it is what it is. Uh, Her wife, Nyla Rose's wife, his wife, tweeted out, my wife is the strongest person I know. Nyla Rose flipped off the guy holding the sign. Rose's significant other who goes by the synonymous, uh, I don't even care, on Twitter, said that the fan was ejected by security. Quote, the security team at AEW is absolutely amazing. She tweeted, the guy was escorted out just because it wasn't fast enough for some of you doesn't mean they don't do their job. Their first priority is to protect the talent that is actively performing. I don't understand, protect the talent. Was this guy physically threatening Nyla Rose, a a male, a wrestler on top of that. Uh, In 2019, Rose spoke to Sports Illustrated about her transition. Quote, my mother made no secret of how proud she was of me before transitioning and how she had the child that she wanted. I never wanted to take that away from her. I felt on some level I would be stealing her happiness, as crazy as that may sound. Now, that's Nyla Rose right there in, I guess, in 2019, Sports Illustrated. Quote, there's eventually a point of no return where I was like, I have to do this for me. I'm sorry. I tried 
to be who you wanted me to be. I tried to live for other people. But at a certain point, I had stopped doing that for my own health and well-being. I had to be myself. As for the fan, talk about squandering the opportunity to be ringside, something many wrestling fans can only dream of their whole life. Um, I don't know. It's not that hard to get uh, ringside seats. Now, guys, do you remember Val Venus? Val Venus. Uh, let's see. There's Val. He, of course, had the porn star angle when he was with WWE back in the Raw days. And Val Venus, I think, worked himself up to probably Intercontinental Champion at one point. Um, I mean, I'm not going to go over his career, but Val Venus was certainly everybody, somebody that everybody knew uh, if you watched wrestling in the late 90s, early 2000s. Well, the fact is Val Venus slammed Nyla Rose a while back. Hashtag Nyla Rose, you should have been booked as a heel and not a tool for social justice warriors to push their stupid and insane narrative that it's, quote, okay to have a real biological woman or man beat up and win a women's title from a real biological woman. And again, you know, I don't know that this is exactly the same thing as something like MMA. Because, again, we've had mixed matches. Um, The thing about that, though, is mixed matches happen very rarely. Okay, so there may be a yeah, but in here. Now, this is Nyla Rose. uh, When when he went by Brandon, and I I don't know anything about this. Uh, He's married to a woman, and... um, Look, I'm simply not calling this person a she if they're still biologically a male. Um, I know that's how they're supposed... I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know, and I also don't care. Okay? Uh, Personally speaking, I didn't see anything just overly, overtly offensive by what this fan said. It was obviously joking, and in my opinion, that... That was a very sort of playful sign. You know, if Nyla Rose is a heel and she wanted to flip the fan off, great. But you felt the need to maybe get the fan kicked out? Or AEW, I guess I should ask you. You felt this fan was so offensive you had to kick him out of this event? I don't love that. I can tell you, as a wrestling fan, as an AEW fan... I mean, come on. Fans have been bringing signs forever. All right? Now, if there's something blatantly hateful like the N-word on there, okay. But there's been a lot of crazy-ass things said on signs over the year years at wrestling matches. Not only that, but you couldn't just ask the guy to take the sign away. You had to eject him because you felt like Nyla Rose, who is... Technically a biological male, okay? So whether Nyla Rose likes it or not, or whether AEW likes it or not, and of course we know Nyla Rose is not this guy's dad, I guess, but technically speaking, it could happen, okay? Uh, So uh, I guess I don't get it. I don't know why... AEW felt the need to have to eject this fan. Uh, I've come to realize the one thing that society cannot handle is anybody telling a joke or just saying a joke without getting offended. I know that. They've, they've been going after comedians, Bill Bird, Dave Chappelle, Louis C.K. I mean, everybody they have tried to cancel. And a wrestling fan brings a sign to an event. I mean, there weren't any blatant curse words on there, anything like that. But they felt it was offensive enough to kick this wrestling fan out. I don't get it. I don't get where we're trying to go right now. I really don't. Um, It's pretty obvious. Uh, Nobody can take a joke anymore without getting twisted. Tell me what you think. I just wanted to share this with you guys. 
I mean, should should this fan have been kicked out? I mean, come on. It seems pretty benign to me. Benign. Not cancerous is what that means. Benign. It's ridiculous, I think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.